All right, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about a very common oil leak on the small B series, H series Honda engines. So, in my case, 2001 Honda Civic with a 1.7 liter engine. And I noticed uh, all over the front of the transmission, there was oil, and um, I was actually about a quart low. So, I knew there was obviously a leak from somewhere. These engines do like to leak oil from multiple places, including the valve covers. But we had just recently had this engine installed and the valve cover gasket had been replaced. So I started looking elsewhere and I found this little spot here. This is a little plastic, it's called a cam cover cap. Uh, just depends on where you buy it from. But uh, basically what happens is there's a little O-ring that I'll show you here in a second around the plastic and with all the heat from the engine it gets brittle dries out pretty quickly and gets flat and just no longer does its job so they do make a metal replacement but you have to take apart um, the valve cover so the easiest way to fix it is just to buy the genuine honda part they do make aftermarket versions um, but the, the genuine one is like around ten dollars so it's probably really not even worth you know messing around so i'm gonna show you how quick this is literally a 30 second job so just be ready you know there will be some oil that leaks out um so we're just gonna take a flathead screwdriver and we'll just stick it in here just kind of you don't want to damage the aluminum but we're just going to work Well, there you go. It came flying right out. So yeah, you just work it out and you can see into the valve cover there. So what you want to do is clean up the oil. I mean, some oil is going to come out. It's not a big deal. Just make sure the surface is clean. Lubricate the new O-ring with some oil and stick it back in there. All right, so here's the new one on the left next to the old one. And hopefully you can see that on camera. But the O-ring is nice. It protrudes out the side. This one is completely flat and flush with the surface of the plastic cap. So that's what causes it. Just kind of a bad design. Um, so we're just going to take a little bit of oil on there, lubricate the O-ring here, and stick the new one in. Try to put it in uh, straight. Get all the clips kind of engage at once, and there you go. Kind of how you can tell it's the problem too is if this is able to spin kind of freely in there. Um, not only we see the oil coming out the bottom, but if that can spin at all, just with your fingers turning on it, then it's way too loose. That means that your O-ring has failed. Right, so we'll take some brake cleaner, get everything all cleaned up, get the engine cleaned up the best I can. But that's all there is to it. Uh, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for where you can buy the part. It's the same part for a lot of different engines, but just do your research, make sure it is the right one for your engine. All these are similar. If you do have the stock intake, you can see it was real easy since I had this aftermarket intake. If you have the stock intake on there, it'll be a little bit tighter, but you should still be able to reach it just fine. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Be sure to like the video, subscribe for more, and until next time, we'll see you later.